Good evening. Secretary for Development Paul Chan admitted today the government has failed to secure enough land so far to meet the long-term housing target of 470,000 flats. There is now a discrepancy of up to 70,000 units. Joao da Silva has our top story. The Long-Term Housing Strategy Steering Committee earlier unveiled a target of 470,000 units in 10 years, 60% of which would be public housing. The government has yet to adopt the recommendations, but the development chief admitted that, as of now, it does not have enough land. Well, in terms of land supply, we have basically secured all the land necessary for implementing the targets as announced in the policy address. But as you know, the figure indicated in the consultation paper uh, is much higher than those indicated in the policy address. The difference is about 60 to, six to 70,000 units. Chan said a number of sites that could be considered for rezoning for development into housing areas have already been identified. But he said the bigger challenge will be to get approval for these plans at the district level. Reacting to Chan's comments this afternoon, Secretary for Transport and Housing Anthony Chung concurred that if the government is to adopt that target, it will need to gather support from the wider community. Now this is of course a, a very big challenge. Uh, to the government and also to the community because at the end of the day the government has to secure uh, community support in order to uh, uh, develop new land and also to uh, uh, fully uh, make the best use of uh, existing land. Some of the sites that could be rezoned for housing include land under short-term tenancies and greenbelt areas. So-called greenbelt areas are intended to protect sites of ecological value, including Hong Kong's much-cherished country parks, which Secretary for Development Paul Chen earlier suggested could be used to build new flats. Needless to say, the suggestion itself resulted in public outcry. Joan Da Silva, TVB News.